In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a four gears infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created four gears and I've given some different colors and the title and the text has been given below. And when I click, it will start the first, then second, third and fourth. And if you notice this one, the one and three are rotating the clockwise and two and four are rotating anti-clockwise. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, select an oval shape. Just click here, it will create a oval shape which is one, uh, one inches height and width. I'm just going to make it for example 2.65, 2.65. Then outline, make it no outline, align, center align middle then go to insert shapes i'm going to select which is under flow chart i'm going to select this one which is flow chart terminator just draw a terminator maybe this much size give some different color shape outline make it no outline and put it exactly in the center align center align middle let me just increase the size a little bit more again i'm going to align center align middle then select this terminator press ctrl d to duplicate again say the same thing center and middle and using the alt and the right arrow key i'm going to rotate it hold the alt key and press two time the right arrow key again control d to duplicate all two times so you can see here it's creating two times control d alt that's it so you can see here we have ended up getting this shape so i'm going to select all or you can just press control a to select all under format merge shape say union so you have got this shape now now I'm going to keep the outlines only so select the object go to format shape outline select any purple color maybe I'll just select uh, this dark purple shape outline go to weight increase the weight maybe or uh, three points and shape fill make it no fill so you got this particular shape then go to insert shapes and select one oval shape draw oval shape by holding the shift key and then align center align middle and for this also give the same color and the weight just make it three points and shape fill make it no fill so you got this particular shape and make sure that select both of this by holding the shift key align center align middle and press ctrl g to duplicate it and reduce the size a little bit so i'm just going to place one here again ctrl d i'm just going to place one here ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to place it one more here and ctrl d one more here make sure that these are properly aligned so select both of these by holding the shift key and format align make it bottom and this also should be aligned to the bottom and i'm going to select all and just move a little bit something like this and then you can just change the color according to your maybe i'll just select this pink i will select maybe a orange and then i'm going to select something a blue kind of thing after alignment or make sure to ungroup this select all one by one by pressing the shift key right mouse click group and just say ungroup and then go to insert shapes lines I'm going to select from this point if you can see here to this point and shape outline I'm going to give 
the same color which is the dark purple and weight I'm going to make it same three point here and press control D to duplicate and uh, from this point till this here now I'm just going to again select this press control D to duplicate this one will go here and one will go here again control D just put it here and put one more here and then I'm just going to do the for this let me just put it here and one here control D one here and the other one you can see here the points and make sure that this color I'm going to make it orange or pink sorry and this one I'm going to make it a orange color now you can add the options here go to insert text box just say 01 the first one and change the font to any of your favorite font and make it bold and put it exactly in the center control D put it here control D again put this one and this is the last one and change the numbers accordingly three and this will be two add the text below go to insert text box just add your text here center align reduce the size and just put it here control D to duplicate it add the text to all the options and then I'm going to do the animation for that go to animation enable the animation pane select this the gear first add animation go to spin and double click timing make it extremely slow and just say okay so you can see here it's happening then again I'm going to use animation painter click on the second one then click on the third one and click on the fourth one and make sure that this is all happened with previous with a gap for example this one should happen 0.25 seconds of 0.5 seconds then this should happen maybe 0.75 and this should happen maybe one second later so if I play so the first is happening the second third and fourth and if you like I can rotate this the second one to counterclockwise so it will rotate the opposite direction and this also I'm going to select the opposite direction which is counterclockwise and say ok and if I play you can see here this and this are rotating clockwise and this and this second and fourth are rotating anti-clockwise that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.